Welcome back. In the last video, we discussed the data import tool in RedCap. In this video, we'll talk about data exports, reports, and stats. Over on the left side menu, we have this option for data exports, reports, and stats. And as has been previously noted, RedCap is a tool meant for data collection, not primarily for data analysis. To analyze our data, we will need to pull our data out of RedCap. So first off, the first thing to note is the data reports page. This is similar to running a query on a SQL database and basically allows us to view either all or parts of our data. So for example, if I was to click on view report of all data, we can see a table of all the data we have collected so far. If I go back page, we could also create a custom report that limits based on certain criteria in our, in our table of data. So if I click on create new report, perhaps I want only people who have eaten nachos. So I'll say, yes, nacho. I could give a description if I wanted, as well as limit who can see the project within my, see the report within my project. Here we can see we've got options to add specific fields. So for example, I could either start typing in individual items I could switch this to a toggle and choose the fields from a drop down menu. I could also choose them by checking off different options. Or if I wanted, I could choose an entire instrument and get all of the data in one go. <clears throat> we then have the option to choose individual filters. So because I've said I want this to be yes for nachos, I'm going to choose the nacho question. Have you ever eaten nachos? and equals, and I'll choose yes. If I had chosen a different type of field, the options over in the operator value and answer would differ. So if I chose a free text field, I could choose contains or does not contains and some text value. If I had chosen a date field, a, a free text field that was validated as a date, the options would be before or after or equal to, or greater than or equal to or less than or equal to a given date. But because I chose a multiple choice question, it's allowing me to choose a given value. We also have live filters, which can be th thought of as sort of sorting features to dynamically update our table. For right now, I'll leave those alone. And if we want to change the order that we see things in, I'm fine with seeing the record ID. So I'll say save report, view report. And here we only have the yeses. So we're down to 13 out of 21. We could see if there's anything uh, in this data, and eventually we could choose to export only these yeses. In the next video, we'll talk about viewing the charts and stats of our data, and then exporting data out from REDCap.